McCabe's YouTube channel. Uh, today we are going over unit conversions. A lot of you have trouble going from metric to the English or English to metric. Um, and so based on the worksheets, a lot of times I give you the units and I give you the measurements already, um, but some of you get lost with the different conversions. So one thing when we're doing unit conversions, you re need to remember if you're starting with centimeters, you have to have centimeters in the denominator to cross them out. Okay, whatever you have, it needs to be diagonal. So I'm going to go over several examples with you today just so you can remember how to do it, especially right now if you're sitting at home. Okay, and, you don't, and maybe you forgot your notes at home. So for example, if I start out with 132 millimeters, and I need to just convert it to centimeters, right? Well, usually, by now, you should understand that there's 10 millimeters in one centimeter, okay? And so, at that point, you can set it up using my fence system, or using the method I taught you yesterday, or in class, depending on the day. You take 132 millimeters, okay? And since you have millimeters up top, and you know, in the numerator right here, so right down here to cross it out, you need to also put millimeters, okay? And up top, you need to put what you're converting to. So I know there's 10 millimeters in one centimeter. Okay, so I cross out my millimeters and I'm left with centimeters. So at this point, you take 132, times 1 divided by 10. Okay? So at that point, you know, at, you take this divided by 10, you're going to have 13.2 centimeters. Okay? So keep that in mind. Don't forget, you know, to times it by that 1. But you really, at this point, you don't have to worry about times that one because anything times one is itself. So keep that in mind as well. Now, when you have to jump several steps, right? Take, say I have 100 millimeters, but I want it into meters, right? At that point, I'll just set this one up for you. You're going to have to have millimeters, and of course, same thing down here, millimeters to cross those out. You want to cross the millimeters out, and at this point, you know there's, you know, 10 millimeters in one centimeter. And then this one has one of two ways you can do it. If you know how many centimeters are in a meter, you can jump right to that. Um, at this point, you know, you should know that there's 100 centimeters in one meter. Um, but if you don't know that, that's okay. You can always go straight from how many centimeters are in an inch, right? And that would be 2.54. Notice your centimeters will cross out. Then you go, okay, what's my next step up? Inches to feet, right? So I have 12 inches to one foot. And now notice my inches cross out, right? So everything's crossing out. My millimeters crossed out, my centimeters crossed out, and now my inches cross out. I'm still at feet, so then I have to say, hmm, well, how many feet are in a meter, right? And at that point, you may or may not know that, but you can always Google it, and that's 3.28 feet to one meter, okay? And so, at that point, you're just left with meters, okay? So, 100 times 1 times 1 times 1 times 1 in itself is just 100, and then... You take 10 times 2.54 times 12 times 3.28 all in the denominator. Okay, and the way I do it in, in, on your calculator is you'll take 100 divided by the parenthesis sign time, uh, 10 times 2.54 times 12 times 3.28, parenthesis sign equal. 